this is Claudia. So today I'm going to talk to you about changing my diet. So um, in the past I've done more of a keto like diet and um, I really love it because I, I'm only eating twice a day. Uh, it saves me by the way, it saves me a lot of money, but also it saves a lot of time on my uh, food prep and um, you know, it, it takes all the thinking away. I don't have to remind myself to get that snack in. It's, uh, it's perfect. But I'm going to change my diet, and the way I change it is, um, by the way, one of the LVAC members gave me this t-shirt, and I love the color. It's a little big, but it's okay. It's perfect, because I'll be doing my meditation later, and uh, I'll, I'll wear this for that. Um, so, the way I'm going to change my diet is I'm still going to keep only two meals uh, per day. And just because I want to restrict that crazy insulin flow that's coming into the body. And um, I feel like my body, my uh, blood sugar has stabilized a little bit better. So yeah, uh, sometimes I get hungry, <clears throat> but I don't think much about it. I don't get starving hungry. I could just feel like, oh yeah, I'm hungry. But um, so uh, I'm gonna change it a little bit. Um, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to lower my fat intake a little bit. So I'm not eating crazy amounts of fat anymore. Um, I want to um, definitely have to lower my sodium intake because my sodium intake is getting out of hand. And I think once I lower my sodium intake, it'll help me uh, lose weight faster. And I had a little bit of weight loss uh, during the keto uh, period, but uh, I want more. <laughs> and I know it's, it, you know, it, it takes time, but I, um, I, want, um, I want to achieve a two pounds per week weight loss. So I'm going to go a little bit lower in fat. I'm going to go a little bit more into, um, you know, white meat, um, protein, like chicken breast and fish. Um, I'm going to, um, you know, up my vegetables a little bit, um, but uh, yeah, lower my, my fat intake and still stay with good fats. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna eat any uh, bacon or cheese or anything like that. And then I need to increase my water intake. I am so dehydrated and I'm trying, I, in the past it was so easy for me to drink a gallon of water. I don't know what it is. It's just really hard and I have to make it a point. If I don't bring in a gallon of water, I know it's so ridiculous when you see people in the gym carrying around a gallon of water and I didn't want to do that. But, uh, and I don't like hot water, I like cold water, but I'm going to have to. I have to bring in my own water, my gallon of water and, um, and just walk around with it and make sure that I drink enough of it because um, otherwise I'm not gonna reach that water intake I was so dehydrated and I think it's because also my um, my caffeine intake is getting a little bit out of hand because I want to do everything and um, I'm just gonna have to make up with the water I was so cramping and my hands were cramping terribly last week so I, I don't want to have to do that um, also, uh, what I'm going to do is, instead of uh, skipping my breakfast, I feel like I should skip dinner. So this is going to be really hard because I'm working all day, I'm going to come home, I'm going to be all stressed out, and I'm going to skip my dinner. Um, but uh, I really miss breakfast, and um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, change it to where I can have a little bit more carbohydrates. So I'm probably gonna in, incorporate a little bit oatmeal in, for my breakfast. Um, I usually just make uh, e either muffins or pancakes out of egg whites, eggs. I'll probably put one egg in there. A um, little bit of uh, oatmeal and uh, maybe some fruit or I'm going to add some unsweetened uh, cacao um, just to make it a little bit more tasty. But I'll... Um, I'll leave a little bit of a uh, little video for my cooking uh, beneath. But yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to um, definitely um, increase my primrose oil because now that my body is functioning again, I'm, I'm back on, on getting some of those hot flushes back so like at night. Not, thank God, not during the day. And, uh, and then, yeah, water intake white meat chicken and fish, uh, turkey too. Um, then I'm going to do my um, vegetables. Uh, I'm trying to stay with vegetables that don't have seeds. I love peppers and I love tomatoes. I mean, it's my favorites, but um, you know, they're 
they have a, a defense system in them that um, you know a somewhat attacks your body so I'm trying to stay with spinach I'm going to do um, asparagus uh, some uh, like maybe zucchini well depends um, and then I'll be doing um, you know cabbage and things that are not broccoli some things that don't have seeds and um, anyway that's pretty much it so I hope um, I hope you like this video and I will see you soon but enjoy the, uh, uh, the little link the little videos that I'm leaving here just for my cooking uh, just to give you an idea and it's nothing special you know I I might add a little bit of a, a flavor to it but that's about it um, I'm gonna lower my salt intake and uh, I'm just gonna use other spices to make it somewhat tasteful. <laughs> I will see you soon. Bye. So this is a um, low-fat turkey sausage and I'm browning this with some onions. So I added uh, uh, green beans, French green beans from Trader Joe's. It really only has green beans in it. Um, and I used the frozen from the frozen section. So I'm adding this. I'm gonna let it uh, cook for a little bit. And then I have some left uh, uh, over cauliflower rice that I'm gonna put in there. A little bit of chicken broth, low, low sodium chicken broth. And that's Sausage, it. cauliflower, and green beans. It looks a little raggedy, but it's so delicious. Oh my God, it's so good. And I didn't oversteam this stuff. Thank God, it came out nice and colory. It's uh, nice and crispy still, so I love that. Okay, this is my beautiful salmon. It is not a wild caught. It's farm raised, and uh, usually I, I buy um, wild caught, but the farm raised actually look better this time. And I'm going to bake this in the oven. I just have a little bit of Himalayan salt on there, pepper some oregano and thyme. I'm gonna bake that in the oven for about uh, 25 minutes probably and try not to over bake it as I usually do. My beautiful salmon came out nice, not overcooked, so it'll be awesome. I'm cooking my broccoli. I bought this gigantic bag of uh, broccoli and then I don't wanna put it in a big pot because it'll be soft on the bottom and not cooked on top so I have it in a big pan with a little bit of water and I steam it like this um, I don't want it to be overcooked so I'll have to watch this thin sliced chicken breast I just put some um, dash fiesta lime seasoning on it uh, I'm probably gonna mix this with a salad or uh, cut it into pieces and take it with me in a ziploc bag something like that but um, this is it, it's uh, for now. I still have some turkey uh, hamburger meat. I'm gonna stuff a uh, pepper with it. And, uh, and then that's it. I have some um, halibut I'm gonna cook later, but today is uh, <coughs> Friday, so I don't wanna cook fish ahead of time like that. I don't wanna have it laying around more than two days. So this is gonna be my breakfast. I have two um, tablespoons of unsweetened cacao in there. And um, I had some frozen blueberries, uh, leftover blueberries. So I just put them in frozen. And there's oatmeal in there and egg whites. So I have just uh, one of these little cartons of egg whites. Let me show you here, this, this here. So um, it's just a small one. I put a whole small, small one in it. I'm gonna fill this up in two muffin cups. And that's pretty much what's in there. It's just oatmeal, stevia, uh, cacao, unsweetened cacao, and blueberries. That's all it is. You can make uh, pancakes out of it. You can make it a little bit thicker. I don't like it as thick, but you can make it a little bit thicker. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, these allergies are killing me. I'm sorry, in every video I'm like coughing around. But, um, I'm gonna fill this up. I'll show you the finished Blueberry, product. Blueberry chocolate oatmeal muffins. So this is your, your muffin and I'll have one for breakfast.